Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphen here. Today, I want to show you guys how to connect your wireless pro to a computer and control the settings. Now, this will work with either a Mac or a PC, but I'm going to show you guys on a PC. The Rode Wireless Pro does come with a USB-C cable. Now, you can connect just a transmitter or just a receiver to a computer. However, with the charging case, just go ahead and put this in here. And whether they were on or off, all you have to do is connect the USB-C to the back of the case and then connect the other end of the cable to your computer. But before you do that, make sure that you have the Rode Central app already installed on your computer. If you don't, just go to the Rode website and you can download it there for free. Make sure to select either Mac or PC depending on what device you're using. So here I already have it installed and I just launched it. Nothing will pop up until you connect a Rode device. As you can see, it says, please connect a Rode device to get started. And now I'm gonna connect the whole case to the computer and you'll see here as soon as it's connected, it'll start to pop up right here. You'll see the case and everything in the case. So the receiver, RX, and the two transmitters, TX. Now you can click on each individual peripheral and when you do, it'll give you options. You can get the files. You can go ahead and make setting changes. But before we do all that, I'm gonna go ahead and click out of it. You can go to the settings here on the top right corner and then you can click on available firmware. And then here, it'll actually tell you everything that's in here. And then it'll actually give you the available firmware for each individual peripheral. I currently already have everything updated, but if you had a previous version, it would show here and you can either update one of them or all of them now, in order for everything to work properly, you need to make sure that everything is on the exact same firmware. So definitely do not update just one item and forget the rest. Make sure you update everything. You click on update all, it takes a few minutes and then it's done. And that's how simple it is to do a firmware update on the Rode Wireless Pro. You could also do a factory reset, check the app version. You can locate local recordings on your computer and then you can choose your audio output. Again, this is while connected to the computer only. All right, so we're gonna get out of the settings for the entire system. And now let's go to the individual peripherals, starting off with the receiver. Click on that, and then you'll see here RX for the receiver. It has a battery indicator and then a bunch of settings. Let's start off with routing. From here, you can choose between merged, split, and safety. Merged will mix the left and right transmitters together and output the same signal on the left and right channels that are connected to your receiver. This also applies if you're using a TRRS headset. Split will separate the left and right transmitters, one to the left channel and one to the right channel. However, when you connect a TRRS headset, the left and right transmitters will be combined to the left channel and the headset will be put to the right channel. It's exactly like merged, but only on the left channel. The right channel will have the exact same sound, just at a lower audio level. That way, if something peaks in post-production, you can actually grab the right side. You can actually use the safety track to try to save whatever part of the audio you clipped from the left channel. Split gives you more flexibility over the audio recording if you're running two transmitters. Let's say you have two different people mic'd up by having one on the left channel and one on the right channel. When you go to edit your video in post-production, you can separate the left and the right into two separate tracks, make them each mono, and then now you can edit each individual voice. Once you decide which mode you want, just go ahead and press apply. And now that instantly takes effect into your wireless pro receiver. Next, you have gain mode. Manual will have you choose whatever output decibel you want. You could either do it physically from the receiver or here in the app with the output gain. In the gain mode, you can also choose a preset, which allows you to download a preset from here for most popular cameras. For example, I'm using the Sony a7S III, so if I click on preset and then I go right here on the right and click on preset, I've already installed the a7S III, but let's say I have a different camera, I can click on plus here, choose the manufacturer, choose the model, continue the next steps, which then will actually download into your wireless pro. And then you'll also get a link from Rode here that tells you what recommended settings you should have on your camera. I personally like to be in manual, and then if you connect headphones or a headset, you can go ahead and change the gain for that as well. Under the headset mode, you actually get another audio level here that you can choose specifically for the mic on that headset. Auto will have an AI type algorithm that tries to find the right balance from different moments that you're speaking. Dynamic gain assist mode, Rode states, creates a more natural sound and is best when in a controlled recording environment where your sound recording is more even. And then off you manually choose the gain on your mic. I'll go back to manual mode. And again, with manual, you choose the output gain that you want. I tend to leave it at negative 12. And then here you can choose if you want auto or off for the dim backlighting. So if you're in the sun and you're having trouble reading the display, go ahead and put that at auto and it'll make your screen a little bit brighter. I tend to leave it off. And then here you have the road button. You can choose what you want it to do. Personally, I have it set to record. So when I press that button, it'll start the onboard recording on both transmitters if they're on. Now, underneath that, we have our time code. To enable time code, you have to actually turn it on here. And then you gotta choose the frame rate that you're gonna be using. I tend to shoot in 23.98 frames per second. 
And then if you click on time code modes, it'll open the routing. However, it gives you five additional time code modes. I'm not going to go over all those. You can look at whatever you prefer, but I tend to use time code one, which will merge the left and right transmitters to the left and the right channel will have time code. Each of these time code modes can actually be turned on to show in the receiver menu system. And all you have to do is choose the time code mode that you want or all of them. And right here where it says show mode on wireless pro, go ahead and check that and then click apply. So right now I'm going to go back to merged, which was what I had, click apply. But because I turned on that time code mode, when I disconnect the wireless pro, now I have that time code option in my mode settings. You can turn on real time and reset. Now we're going to go into the transmitters. Both transmitters have the exact same options you can change. If you have any onboard recordings that will actually show up here, I have one that I did for six seconds earlier. On my other transmitter, I didn't do any recordings. But on this one, I can actually color each individual recording if I wanted to. And I can also preview, play, cycle through. Essentially, I can access all my recordings directly through the app. So here in the bottom right corner, you have different formats for your audio. Now, internally, the Rode wireless transmitters will always record 32-bit float. But these options here are for the audio recordings that you have. If you want to export them and change the format to 24-bit or to a different standard, you can actually choose that here and then click on Export. If you connect the transmitters directly to a computer without the charging case, without opening the Rode Central app, you can still access the files and drag out easily just the 32-bit float files without having to go here through the Rode Central app. Now, if I want to go into the settings, I click on the little gear button here, and now I can choose gain assist on the transmitter. Since I have it off, I can choose a mic gain on each transmitter. I can choose what each Rode button does. I have it set to mute. So you can put dim or bright for the screen. I tend to leave it on dim. And then recording, you can choose if you want it always. The moment it turns on, it starts recording internally. Or manual, where you have to press the record button. I like manual. And it shows here any recordings you have. With 32-bit float, I can actually do 44 hours remaining. I only have six seconds at the moment. I'm actually going to trash that, and it'll delete all the recordings. And you can see right here, boom, now it's done. If I go back to that transmitter, it's loading right now. Now, right now, really quickly, it did show it still had the recording. But once I clicked out of it and came back in, it's gone. So you can easily clear all your recordings through here. And then you can actually turn on drop out markers. So whenever you lose connection from the receiver to the transmitter, there'll be little markers on your recording when you're playing it, just so you know. Personally, whenever I'm using the transmitters, I actually always record internally while also transmitting to the receiver. So there you guys have it. That's how simple it is to connect your Rode Wireless Pro to a computer and control all the settings. Hopefully this video helped you. If you're interested in getting the Rode Wireless Pro or any of the other gear that I use, I do have links in the description where you can purchase it. It doesn't change the price that you get it at, but it does help this channel. Please make sure to drop a like on this video, drop a comment below if you have any questions, and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.